For 50 years, not-for-profit arts organizations have tried and failed to use for-profit marketing tactics to engage with their community. Today, I'm incredibly excited to share with you a new solution to this problem. It's called the Engagement Equation, and it's the subject of a new monograph that I'm co-authoring, which just this month began its peer review with Oxford University Press. But before we get into any of the exciting solutions, I need to share with you this much history first. In the 1950s, there was a marketing professor named Jerome McCarthy, and he developed a marketing mix called the four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. The idea was that everything from the development of a new product all the way through final sale was a function of marketing. So product, that's anything you might buy, your jacket, your tie, or toothpaste. Price, that's the amount of money that an organization will exchange for their product. Place refers to the complex distribution channels that bring a product from development all the way to you in the stores. And then promotion is the work that a company does to try to persuade you to buy their product. Now in the 1950s when McCarthy created this marketing mix, there was no such thing as a nonprofit organization. But for 50 years, not-for-profit arts organizations have tried to apply McCarthy's four Ps to their work because it's all they have. But the four Ps don't work because the four Ps were designed to help companies earn a profit, not to help them connect with their communities. So the engagement equation becomes the solution for this. The engagement equation encourages arts organizations to engage with their community rather than trying to sell to them. So let's examine the engagement equation against McCarthy's four Ps. Price is a very strange idea in the nonprofit arts. I grew up in Boston, and every summer I would go and see free Shakespeare on the common. So how can you consider price in the mix when many nonprofits provide services for free? The engagement equation instead considers ease of exchange. How easy is it for people to attend the art? It thinks about um, things like transportation and how much time it takes alongside ticket price if there is one. Place. You can't move arts experiences through a distribution channel. So instead, we encourage the arts manager to think about environment. What's the environment the art will be presented in, whether it's a theater or a hall or a warehouse? And what's that experience for the community like? Next, we think about promotion. Isn't it odd that a service organization would try to persuade the very people they're supposed to be serving? Instead, we think about education. How can we explain exactly what the experience will be like to our communities so that they can opt in if they're interested? Finally, we do a shift from product to experience. The product of the arts is not what happens on a stage or what you see on the wall of a museum. The product is what happens in here for us. What I find particularly exciting is that the engagement equation exactly reverses McCarthy's four Ps. McCarthy's four Ps starts with a product and then tries to make a consumer want that product. The engagement equation begins with the consumer and the community and then develops an experience that ends there with the experience for them. By nonprofit arts organizations considering education, environment, ease of exchange, and finally experience, they can use those things to balance an engagement equation. And doing that will help them better serve their communities, which is their entire purpose. Thank you.